Um, and we can have a great debate about, uh, you know, what the, the, the balance is of carbon emissions and where it's happening and so on. But you know that from, if we're talking emotion, just remember that, as you know, the amount of carbon emitted per person in the world is highest in Australia and, 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 and America, and there ain't much between the two. Um, and if we just look at America, here's a staggering fact. If we were to collect all the, the uh, carbon dioxide that was emitted by America last year and lay it out as a blanket, as one single layer over the whole of the landmass of America, this is America's CO2 laid over America, it would form a blanket that thick, that is a warm blanket, and that's in a single year. So uh, that is the size of the carbon dioxide blanket produced by the US over its own territory. Now, of course, it disappears across the whole world. But we are talking about something really significant. And you know, of course, how tiny and how thin the atmosphere is. It's just a fraction of the thickness of a piece of tissue paper wrapped around a globe about this size. It's a very, very, very tiny, tiny thing. Um, and what about the CO2 in Australia? Well, you know that uh, CO2 use has risen at almost twice the world average rate over the last 20 years. So we've actually lost ground. Um, that's, that's wrong, by the way. It's not 8, bi 8 billion tonnes a year is the total amount going out worldwide. Um, and it's just over 1%. It's 1.43% or something like that is Australia's contribution to it. But Australia only has 0. whatever 8% of the world's population, 0.32 of the world's population, and, there, and thereby hangs the tail. And in fact, uh, I think that figure of five tonnes per person is already out of date. 